Okay, we're going to talk about um, finding circumference and area of a circle. So you need to know the formulas for finding circumference and area. The area of a circle is pi r squared, and the circumference is um, diameter times pi. So if you can remember that little saying that we talked about in class, c, da, the, pi, a, pi, r, squared. So this would be the c equals diameter times pi, and this would be a area equals pi times radius squared. So, um, Oops, we're going to go ahead and do some examples. It says find the area and circumference of a circle with diameter of four meters. Okay, I'm going to have to erase these. Um, what are these called? Um, uh, I'm going to have to erase the formulas. <clears throat> Hopefully you wrote them down. Okay, so finding, um, if we're given the diameter, it's easy to find the circumference because you just do four times 3.14 because they say to use 3.14. Just remember that that does not equal pi, it is approximately pi. To find the area, we want to find the radius, which is two. We're gonna square it and then times it by 3.14. <gasps> Wait, two squared is four. So the area and the circumference of this particular circle will be exactly the same thing. That is so cool. Okay, so it's gonna be, um, do not round your answers, include the units. Okay, so the area is 12.56. Because it's area, we wanna choose meters squared. For circumference, we're gonna just choose uh, the meters. So you have to be careful when you're doing that. Okay, we'll go to the next one. We'll do one more example. Um, sometimes they'll give us the radius, like in this case. Okay, no kidding. If the, <laughs> This is the exact same problem that we just got. So imagine that if this went all the way across, this would also be two. So the diameter is four. That's exactly what we just had. So we really don't even have to use a calculator or anything. We just put 12.56, this is circumference. So we're gonna do feet, 12.56 feet squared. Now, just so you know, this is approximation. That this is not the exact circumference or area, but, um, if they give you the radius, you have to double it to find the, the circumference. Um, no, you have to double it to find the diameter so that then you can find the circumference. So that's the end of the lesson.